People are opting out of America. They're not optimistic about it. They're not having kids. Young people aren't having sex. They're not meeting. They're not mating. The pool of emotionally and economically viable men shrinks every day, which lessens household formation. So we have a real issue. Young people are enraged. So it turns every cut, every movement into an opportunistic infection because quite frankly, they are just pissed off. Mm -hmm. They look up, they see wealth, exceptional wealth across my generation and people in certain industries, and they are really struggling. Their purchasing power is going down and the incumbents create artificial scarcity on campus. We take pride in rejecting 90% of our applicants. So the incumbents who already have a degree, so their degree go up in value. We get very concerned with housing and traffic once we own a housing, housing permits. Are, are sequestered from young people. Housing prices have gone from 290 to 420 in the last four years. So a young person, a house, stocks that I don't own skyrocket in value. Let's have COVID relief and flush the markets and take assets way up because if a million people dying would be bad, would be tragic if I got less wealthy. And I we're doing it on their credit card. Young people have every reason to be enraged and every issue they see, they look up, they get angry and they see someone doing better than them. And then every day it is speedballed in their face that they are failing, that they are not doing as well as everyone around them.